بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم مدز عامر خان علی زئی کنٹینوئنگ ٹو دا نیکسٹ لیکچر اینڈ ان دس لیکچر وی ول ڈسکس دی الاسٹیسٹی آف ڈیمانڈ اینڈ ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ ون آف دی نمیریکل ریلیٹڈ ٹو پرائس الاسٹیسٹی آف ڈیمانڈ فارمولا اینڈ کراس الاسٹیسٹی آف ڈیمانڈ تو ان الاسٹیسٹی آف ڈیمانڈ انفیریئر گوز آر دوز گوز وتھ بائی فارمولا فار دس Uh, and is less than zero and if luxury is greater than one so the basic and necessity becomes in between zero and one so uh, in income increase the whole price line uh, shift and it moves up it is as been shown here in green color and if the income decrease the whole price line shifts down which is uh, shown here in a red color so in the last we want quantity if the prices are low like example above given here is of milk so if it is a point eight dollar uh, but it's uh, 80 cents so it means you can even pick a carton or pick more milk and if the price goes up let's let's say it is 2.4 dollars so this means that you will only buy those uh, 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 products or those items in the quantity which are just essential for your use and you cannot buy the excessive items here we will be discussing the price elasticity of demand formula so what that uh, represents as the percentage change in QD or percentage change in price so the triangle is representing it as the change so thus if we put up the values into this formula so main thing here to be noted is if the answer becomes uh, shows in positive it's more than one that is less like in the first uh, calculation which answer is plus 2.5 this means the positive sign in income elasticity is uh, representing a normal one so if in another example of the tea and coffee if we put this form uh, the values into the formula so we, we can calculate we are calculating the cross elasticity even the answer is more than one that is 1.3 so this means that uh, these goods are substitutes and in the last one if we put the values into the formula and the calculation becomes less than one the answer is minus 1.5 so it means when it is going into the negativity so that represents the goods are complements in elastic demand so with these examples we are trying to you know, understand these things when we are talking about the elastic things so elastic are substitutes when there are most substitutes available the cost is rather high and if looking at the durability so it means that items can be easily repaired instead of replaced when inelastic uh, uh, we are discussing inelastic so it means that no good substitutes and these are inexpensive very cheap items and lack of durability so using uh, useful life not easy to increase so uh, if we look at the definitions of the cross elasticity of demand for better understanding so uh, we can uh, get the explanation like cross price elasticity measures the responsiveness of demand for goods x following a change in the price of good y and that is uh, basically uh, related goods so cd is equal to percentage change in the quality demanded of product a divided by percentage change in price of product b with cross price elasticity we make an uh, important distinction between substitutes or complements So uh, what is cross elasticity of demand the degree of responsiveness of change in the quantity of demand of one good due to the change in price of the other good so uh, demand ki jab hum baat karenge to uski change ek quantity mein uh, impact karegi uh, change in the price of the other quantity so elasticity proportionate change in quantity demand of x proportional divided by proportionate change in the price of why so the alternate the job if the normal good or elasticity go they can in goods if we are saying their substitutes so elasticity be positive then if we are talking about the complements so when we are discussing complements so the elasticity will be negative as we have seen in the uh, numerical calculation about 
in uh, cross elasticity of v1 the positive cross elasticity of v1 is greater than zero the rise in price of one good leads to the rise in the quantity demand of other good of a similar nature and vice versa so it means that in a similar nature similar nature of goods mean as we have, as we have explained it in, in previous lectures as well the coke comparison goes with the pepsi uh, like uh, Sir, comparison goes with the axle. Or T is comparison going with the uh, coffee. So, in normal goods, an increase in income means increases demand. A decrease in income means decrease in demand. Whereas, in inferior goods, an increase in income means decrease demand. As I have given the example previously, that uh, with the increase in income, you will uh, uh, drop the demand for all fashion TV towards the LED and if the decrease in income is there it means that when your profit or income is decreased then you will not be uh, thinking of the LED TV you might be going for the uh, old traditional TV so with that uh, we are going to close it and uh, in the next lecture we will be discussing uh, for the uh, in, in detail on the cost price elasticity demand with definitions and more examples to get better understanding of it and uh, we will also be uh, looking at the comparison of the normal good and inferior good under uh, the cost price elasticity demand formula assalamu alaikum